Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I have something special planned. This is going to be like a sub-series, um, because these videos, I do just want to make them just to mix things up a bit. As I said in my previous Skyblock video, I don't want everything to be about Skyblock. I want some vanilla elements into this channel. So today, I bring to you guys five really easy to make mini games that you can add onto your server if you want to make an amusement park or if you just want to enjoy them with your friends it's all fine these five games will work um yeah but because these games they uh, typically take a bit longer to make than my like usual skyblock videos so this will probably be like a once a month thing and it won't all be about mini games some might be say like I don't know, just normal Minecraft stuff that I just want to show off. Maybe I'll show off. There's just really, like, there are some really cool redstone contraptions that Egegi One Gamer invented himself, and I might show those off. Like, just, I don't know, some vanilla things that are just different from Skyblock. So, for this one, first of all, I might have to, uh, I'm gonna have to get some fire charges. And just quickly go to game mode 3. Because this is a version of Spleef that I sort of invented. And it's a, it's a version of Spleef that you... Oh god, I just screwed something up, did I? Basically, it's a version of Spleef that you don't need... Oh, uh, what did I do? What am I doing? Uh oh. It's a version of Spleef that you don't need command blocks. Now... I know I have command blocks here right now, but that's completely because of quality a lot of life reasons. Um, I'm, I'm not, like, the command blocks are completely optional. And I think I might have just broken this here, so. Yeah, give me a sec while I fix this. I think I just fixed that. That's what it's supposed to do, and it's going to start lagging me. But this is the game. I uh, add a command block to easily. What? What happened here? Um, hello? What? Wait, what? Let me try that again. Oh no. Okay, troubleshooting time. Okay, guys, I think I just fixed it. It was because of some version reasons. Uh, originally, I made this map in 1.9, and then I wanted to work on it in 1.16 uh, and above. Uh, and that just broke some of the commands. I just had to change some of the commands. Uh, but if you do want to uh, play these games in any version you want, they will work in any version you want. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it should work now. Now... This works, and this is just like a game of spleef. Now, I like to play this with, like, fire ticks set to a thousand. If you... Huh? Totally not my... F oh, God, I can't expose that. That is... There we go. Okay, that was totally not my fault. Let's sort of observe this a bit. Basically, how this game works is... Uh, the fire charges light the wool on fire... And because of the fire tick, yep, there it goes. Because of the fire tick, it starts lighting every single piece of wool around it on fire. If I, like, fire tick speed. Is that not, okay, I don't think that's a setting. It's only a setting 1.9. But as you see, the wool starts burn all, and it also starts lagging you. This is only because I have a terrible computer. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem if you have, like, a half-decent computer. So if I just go back to creative, 
as you will be able to see, the sand starts falling, and this is just spleef, basically. It's, um, I like to call it wool spleef. So the idea is the wool burns, and because the wool is the only thing that's supporting the sand, the sand will naturally fall. And yeah, you can like race with your friends to see uh, who can do this, uh, who can like survive the longest. Uh, you can like come up with different rules. And yeah, I'm um this. I'm going to try to keep this game itself short because it's just going to lag everything. I'm just gonna quickly turn the circuit off. Okay, I think, uh, okay, my computer is still terrible, so it's still lagging, but that's a little bit better. Now, this one, next game, is a really good game if you love to torture animals, uh, specifically pigs. Basically, what you do is, there's two versions where you can play this. One is in, if you play in 1.8.9, the idea is, since rods do damage when you hook it up to something... You can hook it up, but but right now I'm in 1.9+, uh, so it doesn't actually do damage. You hook it up, and then you pull, and lag, okay. Uh, it does the full damage, and you can kill the pigs that way. And another way you can play this is, if you're in 1.19+, plus, I mean 1.9+, plus like me right now, you can like do this. And the goal of the game is to try to get as many pigs as possible into your back area here, which is actually much harder than it thought. I mean, like, I got that pig out to the fence and it just walked in. But if the pigs aren't as smart as that one, it is actually very, very hard to get them in. And you can basically play to see uh, whoever gets all their pigs killed first. Or whoever uh, maybe set a time limit and whoever has more pigs on their side by the end of the time limit. It's basically, like, you can just invent variations on this by yourself. Okay, this game is a bit like a villager maze. Uh, basically, there's a goal here, right here. And you can spawn the villager maybe, like, here. And your goal is to try to get the villager to walk over into the hole... And you lead it into the right places by blocking the wrong paths with sand. So I could, like, do this. And I don't know why the village is not walking. This is, like, a game that might require a bit longer to play. As I said, these require no command blocks. So they might not always work as well as command blocked ones. But if you don't have any command block skill whatsoever, like me, then, yeah, these games are for you. This one, I personally, me, myself, I don't like it compared to some of the other games that I had, but mm, you can experiment with it. Now, this one it was actually inspired off a concept that they discovered in Hermitcraft. Basically, if you have knockback sticks, and these are really easy to make, uh, even in 1.9+, plus. Uh, the enchant, the slash enchant command doesn't work on these, but if you just apply the knockback using uh, enchanted books and an anvil, this works. You can knock these, and they actually take knockback. Uh, credits like to this concept is one hundred percent to the Hermitcraft people. But I just sort of officialized this and made like an official game out of it this is really really hard i mean i tried this for like 20 minutes and i got three goals in 20 minutes so yeah and basically you can do whatever you want with this basically like for all of these games there's no there's no specific rule uh how you can play them it's just whatever you want to do with them now, the final one is more of a concept than a game, and it is Kit PvP. Now, a lot of people think that Kit PvP requires a, um, that it requires command blocks for you to, like, give yourself kits in really fancy ways, but it's actually much easier than that, and I don't actually have the time to make, like, all 30 kits that I wanted to make with all the Shoko Flutters. I'm not sure if, it's, if it is 30. I don't, don't, that was just a rough guess. 
But I made four of these. I made Pyro, Enderman, Slenderman, and a Princess. So, it's really, really simple. Basically, all you have to do is look for a dispenser. And in case you did not know, if you get this and a button. And if you just pop this uh, shulker box in, it actually places it. Excuse me? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I was just blocking the block then. But it places down the shulker box. So if you fill it up with like random kits, and then you can just roll a kit. And it will give you a kit. And these kits aren't too hard to make. Like, all you have to do, enchant these. A pyro hoodie, pyro robe, pyro trousers, pyros, upside down ear pods, uh, two lava buckets, pyro staff. And yeah, they're really not that hard to make. Like Enderman, obviously pearls. And then there's Slenderman, which gets a rod and polished diorias blocks. Um, I don't know where I got that idea from, but yeah. And then there's a princess, which gets the flame bow. Uh, as normal and she gets three wolves uh, but these are just examples you can make whatever kits you want and it's just the concept to, j just to show that kit PvP isn't as hard as you think so yep yeah, that is the last one that brings us to the end of this video of five really easy video game I mean not video games just mini games that you can build in Whatever place you want, play with your friends, play with random people, do, do whatever you want with them. But they're just cool ideas that I came up with. Not that though, don't sue me. I didn't come up with that one. So yeah, it's the end of this video. I also have an, an announcement to make. Um, I, I'll ask you two announcements. One is, from now on, I won't be using QuickTime Player to record anymore. I will be using OBS. Uh, for editing, uh, it, it, it depends. If I can get Premiere, uh, Premiere Pro, then I will be using that. Otherwise, I will just be sticking to iMovie. Uh, the second announcement is I am working on a 100 Days Hardcore Minecraft. Uh, since everybody's doing that, so I thought, why don't I attempt that as well, since it looks pretty fun. But all of the attempts so far... Uh, due to like just complete lag with the recording softwares I've been using uh, I haven't like they're just not usable so I'm going to try again with OBS and hopefully it works a little bit better uh, but yeah it's just the end of the video now make sure to like subscribe mainly the subscribe part if you true i only want you to like if you truly like this video but like no matter if you like it or not hate it whatever you have to subscribe okay and as i said if you don't subscribe egg eggy one gamer will stab you with his pencil collection that's the end of this video bye